the clay will fight pretty hard. I always feel a little bit like it, you know, likes to smack you around on purpose just to keep you aware that you're not in control. My work is, is about finding that space between control and, and randomness. I think of it more as naturalness. I respond most to my work when I feel like I can't see my intention in it. I'm trying to find a result that feels as though it hasn't been touched by humans. When I'm throwing, it's very meditative for me. You have to let your hands go, you have to let your body go. Certainly you have to let your mind go. What I really like is when you're in that moment where you see the natural form take shape. And you're like, that's the first time I've ever seen that shape. And yet it feels like shapes I've seen my whole life. People have always sort of said to me, your work is, you know, non-functional work. It's weird, heavy, chunky plates that are crusty and ashy or whatever. Th those forms all come from the natural shapes. I'm always trying to invoke the supermassive scale, like large topologies, plate tectonics, or when you're flying over the desert from an airplane, these geologic landscapes with rivers cutting through, or you know, lakes, and these big views in these very small areas. The process that I'm using is called an Anagama wood fire. It's the, just the shape and type of kiln. It's this very simple brick kiln in the woods. With five or six people staying up all night, that's an instantly ancient feeling. The world's retreated when you're at the wood fire. experience-based listening to what the kiln is telling you, what, what it needs right then. You feed a lot of wood and, and get the temperature up to about 2300 degrees. Uh, if you do that, for five days, then you've built up a lot of wood ash from all the wood you're putting in, and that ash gets superheated and turns into kind of a natural glaze, and a glass kind of can settle over the, the pots, and that becomes the, the decoration or the, or the effect. A 
lot of times people will say, this is like, and they're looking for that. What is it like? That there's something in it that they're, that, that's familiar to them, that they know, but they can't quite place. And that's what I want them to do, is to, to connect to those things that you feel but you can't put into words. <laughs>